It What's up guys, it's Nicole here and today I'm going to be reviewing the Chi Chi Makeup Blending Sponge. This is what it looks like right here, as you guys can see. Why is this not focusing? Excuse me. There we go. Okay, so this is the Chi Chi Blending Sponge right here. It kind of looks like the Beauty Blender, except it has like a flat kind of top, as you guys can see, and then a pointed end. This is just the packaging for it. It comes in a lot of different colors and I think there are four different shapes that you can choose from and you can also get all four in one set but I decided to just get this one to try out. I'm not a huge fan of applying my makeup with sponges so yeah but I've heard good things about this so I wanted to try it out for myself. On the side of the box it says precision concealer allergy free Stippling effect, speedy application, swells on wet, and flawless face results. And then it also says, non-latex, hygienic, professional finish, the perfect tool, makeup artist results, and streak-free. So, we're going to test this out and see if all these claims are right. I want to definitely see if it is streak-free and, like, gives a professional finish. I just don't like the finish that I get with sponges that I've tried. So... Yeah, we're going to test this out. I think this retails for about 5 or $7 in Australia. And I got this from Target. So this is what it looks like. This is the normal size when it is not wet. As you guys can see, it kind of is like it's squishy. But it kind of feels a little bit hard in the middle. If you know what I mean. Like it's not fully soft and squishy. Little resistant if that makes sense. I'm going to go and wet this and we'll see how big it gets. So this is the size right now. We'll see how big it gets. Okay, so this is how big it is now compared to my hand. It did get pretty big. I mean, like this is really big compared to my face. Like, I mean, this is half my face so pretty much. It's like... It's pretty big. Um, it does feel more squishier and less resistant. Um, and I did squeeze out all the water as much as I could. And then I kind of used a towel to press it a little bit. So I'm going to use my Revlon Color Stay Foundation. If you guys know, it is like a medium to full coverage for a drugstore foundation. Here. <laughs> Sorry, girl. I just lost the lid, but really it was under my leg. So I'm more towards the light so that you guys can see a bit better. Uh, I'm gonna just start blending. I'm gonna use this side and I'm going to do like a stippling padding motion. <laughs> Honestly, it's not bad. Like it actually look ugh. it actually looks pretty okay, like decent. It's not full coverage as you guys can tell and it did leave quiet a few marks on here. I definitely think it kind of picked up a lot of the product, but for like a light coverage kind of nice sheen, kind of nice finish to the face, I think it looks all right. Like if you do not if you didn't if you didn't want a full full coverage or like if you just wanted something light for summer which it is now summer in australia thankfully uh you know it did a pretty decent good i would say it's kind of like a light to medium coverage um as you guys can see i'm gonna come in closer to, so that you can see you can definitely still see my pores i didn't use any primer but this is the finish of the foundation and like this is what it looks like it looks pretty good right i definitely cannot see any streaks which is amazing usually beauty blenders and stuff that i've used definitely leave some streak marks but this does not like it actually looks pretty good but i do think it picked up a lot of the product and yeah and the size is pretty good like it blended out really fast this side you'd obviously use to ground your eyes but this side kind of like did everything and i think like the sharpness of the sponge the edges kind of helped get under the eyes 
I mean, it looks really good, honestly, for the price as well. That's cheap in Australia. Um, and yeah, I mean, I think it did a pretty great job. I don't know how durable this is going to be. I don't know how long it's going to last. Should I blend out some concealer with this and see what it looks like? Okay, so I've got one of my favorite concealers here. This is the Maylene Age Rewind, but it's kind of drying out. So I'm going to see what this beauty blend does with it. I wouldn't say it held the coverage there. It blends out easier and smoother than when I use my finger for my concealer. Um, especially with this one because it is starting to dry out. But like, yeah, I'm going to try use this side. It is still a bit big to get under the eyes. Like, I do think it grew in size, but I definitely think that it's still a bit hard to get, like, right on. Not as bright as I get it when I don't use a sponge. So I probably wouldn't use a sponge for my concealers. But it does a decent, decent. It does a bloody decent job. And yeah, so definitely get it if you guys want to try out something new. Um, I don't know if you could purchase this in America. But if you're in Australia, you can. Target has it. But you can also go online on the Chi Chi website. So yeah. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already, girl. Join the fam. I mean, farmy. Come on. Just do it. hit the subscribe button. You know you want to. You know you want to join the family. So, okay. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.